way too early. You know this guy. If you don't, you're an idiot. Go away. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, and I, I have, I've got to shoot him away. Candy. I want to thank you and Robert if I meet him because he's probably too busy. Because you guys made my new career. Really? Yeah. Because you are the guys that showed that YouTube works. You're the guys that right. showed that this can be entertaining and stupid and you can just be an idiot sitting in front of a camera having fun with gear and kind of infecting other people with that fun. Yeah. And um, I kicked off all my students and what I do now is for a living I do this. So thanks. <laughs> No worries. Actually, actually, that's not true. Screw you, it's because of you guys. <laughs> because if you weren't watching, no one would give a flying rat's ass. This was a YouTube comment. Well, it's okay, it's guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? It's pretty cool. And the guys at Choman, they made that shirt for me. Oh, nice. Because uh, we did a video where my girlfriend reads me YouTube comments. Right. So I have to sit there and shut up and she's reading like, You, sir, are an idiot. Your glasses are ugly. Why do people write this stuff? <laughs> so, um, and then one of the comments was, words, okay, it's guitar player. And then the guys at Choman saw that video and sent me that t-shirt. That, that, was, that was a good day for me. I, I thought it was very, very kind. It's great. So, you don't want to hear about all this stuff. You know this stuff anyway. Um, <laughs> we are Chapman guitars. We, we're blocking them. You know we are Chapman guitars because you can see the guitars, you watch his videos. You don't necessarily need to see this, so you might as well just turn it off right now because... You've seen everything you need to see. But we're going to talk about it. He has a new signature model. I do. How cool is it to have a signature model? It's pretty weird. Can I ask you something very straight? I know you bought a PRS. There was this video where you checked it out and then you were checking out with it. Mm -hmm. So now you have these. Realistically, is the PRS one of the guitars you will continue to use? Or I mean, they're nice guitars. I mean, I, fun, I, yeah. I, I will say this. I have a PRS Custom 24, very proud of it. I've wanted one since I was about 15. Who didn't? Yeah, exactly. I saw her on TV and I was like, that's amazing. I finally got to the point where I could afford one. And this is my honest thing with that guitar. I play it, I use it on recording, but I find myself a lot of the time grabbing a Chapman just out of habit and it feeling so comfortable. And the PRS is great, sounds incredible, obviously looks great, but like half the time I'm going for the Chapman just because that's home, you know what I mean? And it's a different feel probably. Yeah. I mean, they are less expensive guitars, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the PRS would give you what... Um, I've got a, um, a Modern Eagle 2, and I've got yeah. five other PRSs. What's the PRS? Pro PRS? I think you just say PRS. PRSs. PRSs. I don't know. So anyway, um, but I grab other guitars. I've done a lot of uh, demos for Harley Benton. Oh, yeah. You know, the Tourman brand. Mm -hmm. yep. And you know what, for 250 bucks, Holy flying crap. Yeah. You know? So here we are in, well, the price range just above them, right? I, I, I checked out at Toman Chapman Guitars, 500 bucks, 500 to 1,000 roughly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are in the, you know, you don't want the really cheap thing, but you want something good for the price. And I haven't played one. Visually, they're stunning. Show you a thing. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. This is the baritone version. For you drop tuning nachos. Yeah, so it's a solid Paduke neck. There's no stain on that. Love that. Yeah, and Alder body. I love the satin finish on all yeah. of them. That's really nice. You can see satin. And then we got locking hip shot tuners, which are nice. There's a bare knuckle juggernaut in there. Coil split, little 59. So that's that one. That's 28.8 scale. 28.8? Yeah. And then we have the 25.5 inch version. This is my personal one, which is why it's scratched. I've been touring it, but yeah. That neck is beautiful. Yeah, same same guitar, but 25 and a half in black with a Floyd Rose, but everything, that's a if, war pig. If you get rid of the Floyd Rose, I'd love it. See, loads of people say that, but then loads of people love Floyd Rose. Well, I mean, it's, it's nice to have, but I just don't want to set it up. I just don't want to deal with it. Well, we may be, we may be working with Floyd Rose in the future to find a really good, easier way to set things up. Because all my Ibanez is this and this. Same thing, Ibanez is this. Yeah. Um, Ibanez is this. Um, I don't change the strings as often as I need to, because Floyd Rose. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, um, well, let me, let me show you some yeah. of the other ones. This is brand new for this year. This is literally, it was unveiled the other day. 
This is a collaboratively designed guitar. This is the Captain America. This was designed in collaboration with a, a, a retailer from Minnesota called Rift City Guitar. And they, they asked their customers what they wanted to see in a guitar. And they voted on this. So, Perloid Pickguard. It's an ash body. It's curved, rounded around the edges. Rounded edges on the neck, maple neck. Seymour uh, Duncan pickups and five-way blade and it's a thing of beauty the, the, nice. the, the paint job is very sparkly it's very very pretty yeah so this is for all those guys that love to look strats and things but maybe can't afford the full American price for one uh, we, we can't say we can't say strat we have been warned by the big F we cannot say we cannot say the word I have, got, I have gotten emails about this do not say the word when, when it's not a seriously S, S type S type Okay. These are brand new. I didn't do that. Yeah, you know? yeah. This is brand new yesterday. This is the brand new ML1, no, ML8 RS. It's an eight string. And this is Rob Scallon's signature model. We've had some discussion on the channel about eight strings, yay or nay. But he makes it work. Yeah. He makes, I can't make that work. Yeah, He's got an Ibanez eight string, I can't make it. He makes it work. I can play my sugar. Or maybe a couple of maybe a couple of bars with the sugar on it with two notes. But yeah, that's it. That's it. But I must admit, having played an eight string, this one's really nice. It feels it's easy to play, and I'm, I've played other ones. And I'm not a fan of that easy. But quick rundown: ash wings, mahogany three piece neck through. We've got passive aggressive humbuckers made by Chapman with Rob Scallon's little signature on them. As you can see, there's a little anchor there. Coil split, three-way switch. We got hip shot, locking tuners on the back. Always cool to have locking tuners. Yeah, and you got Rob Scallon's little little emblem there. And that is the ML8 RS. And it also comes in a six-string version. That's more interesting for most of you. For, for all those who don't like eight strings, <laughs> we have the exact same guitar, but with the six strings. That's it, that's the only What's difference. What's the price point on that? Uh, I can find out. He doesn't know. He's not prepared. <laughs> Where are the iPads? Oh, okay. Well, well, hey, go on Tormine and find out, or go on somewhere, Chapman Guitar. Just to go be to honest, I think because they're brand new, we don't actually have a set price for them yeah, yet. At some, at some point, you'll find out. Just don't whine about it in the comments. What I will say is there is no guitar in the entire range that exceeds $1,000. Really? Everything's under 1000 Yeah. Even the really pretty blue ones? Yeah, they're, they're kind of the mid-range in price point. The most expensive guitar we have in the US is $939. So there you go. Uh, and then, okay. what else do I have to show you? The Norseman. Now that's a pretty one. So this is one of three different colors. This is the Norseman. This was designed in collaboration with Evanstad, which is the Norwegian retailer. And quick rundown. It's a solid quilt maple top, Canadian. We got passive aggressive humbuckers in this, covered chrome. We've got Floyd Rose, coil split, and it's solid mahogany back, solid mahogany neck with an oil finish. And as I see, the truss rod accessible from down here so that you don't have to drill through up here, which prevents neck breakage. Mm, yeah, it's there. I, I know one or two things, and that's yeah. about it. <laughs> so th this is one of three colors. We also have. We also have the same guitar with a broken string. <laughs> it doesn't is, come with a broken string when you buy it. Yeah, this is the red version, which is really nice. And then we also have this beautiful, my favorite, which is... It's like a black and red burst. They're all the same spec. Everything about them is the same, except they are uh, different colors. So that's very cool. They, they look and feel very high-end. One thing that is important to say is with Chapman Guitars, we like to collaborate with people. Um, some of our retailers and some of our artists are, you know, do a lot on YouTube. And so if, if, it, if, if there's value in it, the, the retailer might ask their customer base what they think we should do as a guitar. And we will do a guitar exclusive to that retailer for the first three months. Um, and it's, it's specific to them. They designed it with us, you know. So that is yeah. pretty damn cool. You don't get that with any other guitar company, so.
So either through Toman or through those guys direct, we're gonna get some in the studio and look at them in freaking depth. Are you gonna? Oh yeah, well you you want to see that one? Is the ghost fret, which I'm sure you all know about. But a quick rundown of this: Sapili mahogany wings, three-piece maple through neck. This is a Canadian maple top, flame top with a satin black finish, as you can see. Uh, we've got a Korean hip shot bridge, hip shot locking tuners, ebony fretboard, it's 25 inch scale length and it has distortion trembo cassette with a quality tab. I have to admit, I, I was never into Explorers. This one somehow looks nice. It's 8% smaller than a Yeah, it feels smaller, conventional... I was going to say, because it's this huge thing that's usually in the, on my lap and it's, I, I was never comfortable, but yeah. they, they, they feel different. So yeah, I mean, that's more or less everything brand new for this year, that's pretty much it. You don't need to know more. I'm gonna, if I have time this year, I hope so, because it's filling up quickly. If I have some time, I'm gonna um, look at these and play them and bitch about tiny details if I find them. Is there something to bitch about? Well, you can't say yes. I will find it. And uh, before I bitch about it in the video, I'll contact them and bitch to them about it. And then Come to Anderton's, do some reviews in there. <laughs> I'd have to do some reviews of that. Sure. We'll talk about that off camera. Go away now. I got more. Go away. <laughs>